The Mi Notebook Air 13 here that I have has an NVIDIA 940MX GPU that has only one gigabyte of RAM. That's double data rate 5, so it's not a gaming notebook. That is obvious with this particular GPU it has in there. It's not designed, I don't think, for any heavy gaming at least. But what I did want to test out was can it play a few titles on the side with lower resolutions or lower settings? And that's the intention of this particular video. So now you'll see some time codes popping up. Those are the games I have tested so far. And I'm going to be monitoring the temperatures also to see if it's going to run into any power or thermal limit throttling there. So from here on in, the video now is going to be captured with a capture card at 60 frames per second, just to give you a really good idea of how it performs. So let's have a look and see if we can play any games on it. All right, so before I get started into the gaming, let's have a look at the idle temperatures. So the NVIDIA 940MX is at 40, and I'll scroll up, and the CPU at 37 degrees, at the current temperatures. So I'll come back to this at the end of the video and see just how hot it gets, but you'll see the frame rate and actual temperatures being displayed the whole time. So first up is Tomb Raider. Now I'm just going to run the benchmark here to give us an idea of the kind of frames per second. So these are the settings I have set it to. So 720p and full screen, of course. Let's check it out. So I'll show you the settings I'm going to use. So the graphics, everything, it's on the low preset there, so... I mean, you wouldn't want to go really probably any higher than that because it would not be playable. So let's run the benchmark and see how it handles it. Okay, so there's a result, just playable. An average of uh, 34 frames per second. Now you might be able to hear this high-pitched noise, that's the fan, it's kicked up onto what I... Assume is about a hundred percent or eighty percent. It's quite loud. Next title is Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 3. Now I have the resolution at 1080p and on almost higher settings. Well, because I don't have depth of field and a few things enabled there. Let's see how it runs. Jammer's 500 meters north. We'll like it from here. Let's go. So this title is Project Cars, now 720p again, show you the settings I'm going to use. So it's on basically low settings, performance, well I could lower the texture resolution, but I'm going to go with this and see if that's going to be playable or not. Alright, so around 30, 40 frames per second, that's not too bad. If you remember, I tried to play this on the Core M3 model, and it was horrendous, very choppy, very slow. Green, green, green. Up next, League of Legends. Now, this I expect will play in 1080p, and it can run on atoms, on lower settings and resolution. So here, it should be just fine. So I'm just going to create a custom game with Bot Summoners Rift. I don't want to leave any game annoying anyone. So 
That's why I always do bot games. I don't actually play this game as well, so. All right, so 1080p, this game is very lightweight, so that's even with the high setting. Now I'm gonna put that on very high, and we'll see how that affects the frame rate, which is still, still over 100 frames per second. So this is extremely playable. Gonna have no problems with this game. Strike quickly. I also wanted to mention that you can force it to use the integrated GPU if you wanted to, but here I've forced just the global settings and the NVIDIA control panel to use the high performance processor, which of course is that dedicated 940MX. And I am monitoring with Intel XTU to see if we're gonna run into any thermal throttling or power limiting. So nothing just yet after that Tomb Raider benchmark, but that was only running literally for three minutes or so. So now I'm going to have a look at Fallout 4 and this again will be on some very low settings, so 720p, and that will be on the lowest. Well, they have enabled the anti-analyzing, but I'm gonna turn that off. Go sell Diamond City. For some reason, the sound's not going through my Elgato capture card, it's playing up. But oh well, we'll have a look at the frame rate. I'm just gonna cause some trouble here, I think. All right, it looks like we're gonna get playable frames, but you know, there's a bit of stutter there. This is quite a busy area though, this one. So that's why I chose it, because it's very demanding. 34 frames per second, 40. This is Battlefield 4. Show you the settings that I'm using at the moment. I can probably tweak this up actually, but it's a 1080p and set to medium. I just left it at auto. So we'll see how it runs with just auto. Ah, he got me. All right, let's have a look in the helicopter. I'm not a very good pilot at all. No doubt I'll crash straight away. Alright, so Counter-Strike Global Offensive, this is the Dust2 map, and I will quickly show you my settings I'm going to use. What are you doing? So medium settings, 1080p in the frame rate, around 100 frames per second at the moment. You could probably load that down to 720p, of course, to improve things. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, I'm absolutely crap at these games, so... Be prepared for the worst kind of gameplay you've ever possibly seen.
Vielleicht ist er dann alles aus. So checking out the temperatures, you see that the maximum that the CPU got up to core one and two, well core zero actually, sorry, got up to 78 degrees and then the Nvidia got up to 80. So that's quite hot. Now touching the notebook now, I'm just going to get my thermal probe out and have a look. The notebook is quite hot and it's at 46 degrees so that is quite toasty to the touch so if you're going to be using this on your lap I wouldn't recommend doing that and be probably better if I had also propped it up with something just to allow it to cool a little but it's getting that's scorching hot to touch so very hot and I'm just going to do one last thing here I will skip ahead but it'll run the heaven benchmark and see the result it gets. So that's just the basic preset. So there is the result of the heaven benchmark for, so that's nothing great, you know, this is, that's on the low preset, not wonderful. Now I just wanted to see if it's had any thermal throttling. So I have had Intel XTU running in the background and that has been going for some time here. So I have a look. I just need to close that down. That's taxing the system a little. So you can see one hour thermal throttling, no power limit throttling, no. So that is good to see that it's not throttling in any way. Now this here is just a little test of mine. Now I don't recommend doing this because this is crazy in this form factor and probably with this chipset you could end up damaging something just getting it too hot. But what I'm going to try is overclock it. So I have just tested out recently these kind of crazy overclocks probably for this card for a 940MX. But I'm going to try. Now it doesn't have any artifacts at all. The memory, it seems very stable at that. I have checked it out. And I will have a look at the temperatures. So now I've just done this overclock. If you remember the Tomb Raider benchmark that I ran in the beginning of the video, I'm going to try that again now and see if we get an improvement with the same exact settings. It had 34 with the stock settings. So let's have a look. 34 frames per second. See if that can be improved on. All right, so overclocking, it's not really worth it. We've only gained about two frames per second on the score there. At least with Tomb Raider, it doesn't seem worth it at all. And temperatures got up to 74. Now we know that stock gets up to 80, so it's quite high. Probably don't want to be overclocking it really. This was just a little test. So that's the gaming review there. So I can pretty much say that this isn't really much of a gaming notebook nor is it meant to be I think it's more just to help out with things like um, I'd say Adobe Premiere or video editing or CAD or something then you get a bit of a boost instead of just having integrated Intel graphics on here but one thing that did concern me is temperatures of the GPU this is stock settings no overclock there it gets up to 80 degrees and really I find that that's just starting to get a little too hot there that was extended gaming so what I my time gaming was, well, 2 hours and 10 minutes is the runtime that I have been doing. Of course, the video wasn't that long, but the gaming was. So hopefully I'll see you back later on with more on this particular Mi Notebook Air, the 13-inch version, and later on the full review. Thanks so much for watching.